I'm going to break down to you guys how to cut hot, modern, and long hair. And it's such a huge money maker. You guys like to make money? You guys like to drive nice cars? Live in nice pads? Be successful? We're artists, but we still like to make money doing this, right? We're doing this for our health. This is going to make you moolah, okay? Do you like a lot of movement in your hair? You do. Do you, like, do you like a lot of texture in your hair? Good. Do you like it easy to manage? Do you like it modern looking? Because you're super cute. You like your hair long? Guess what? I'm not even taking up one little millimeter of length. Cool? And that's how we got that's how we talk to our clients, you guys. Consulting is huge in our business. Take time to consult your clients, to retain your clients. Clients are like gold. They're not easy to come by. Because I watch these kids when they're starting out. I remember when I first got out of beauty school, I went into a, I went into a salon and started working with Rico. I was booked solid in like three months. Clients were easier to obtain back then. I don't know why, it's, it's the economy, it's the way that it's the texting and all this other crap that you guys do. It's just hard to obtain people to grasp what we do. We do some good things for people. As hairdressers, we make people look and feel better. That's it. We're not there to stroke our ego in front of our clients. We're not there to share any of our advice to our clients. We're to make them look better and feel good. That's our job. Okay, and we do that with our hands, with our mind. Right now, I know exactly what Alicia's hair is gonna look like when it's already blown dry. I've already blueprinted this roadmap in my mind exactly how I'm gonna go about cutting this. Okay, looking at her, bam, in my mind, I've already dissected the cut. The length, turn for me, the length on Alicia's fine, here it is. I might shape it up a little bit when it's dry. I'm gonna go through two different stages of cutting this head of hair. One wet, I'm going to send her back to Paige. Paige is going to blow her dry for me. I'm going to take her back out here and finish it dry. How many people dry cut right now? Everybody's hands should be in the air. Okay? Because dry cutting is awesome. It's really awesome. It's great for you and it's great for the client. Because as you're cutting the hair, they're all actually watching it in the mirror to progress into the style and shape that they want. It's not all pin jacked up all over the place. You drop a little tiny section down and up. Okay, and the water and the hair is all in the face and makeup dripping down her. You know, take, take care of your clients. Ricardo's going to diagram this cut as I'm cutting it. So it's gonna, I'm going to explain it. He's going to diagram it. I'm going to be over here without the mic. He's going to be talking to you through the mic. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me get into this real quick. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I already got this down. I know exactly what's going to happen here. I know what needs to be cut off. I parted this thing out right here, okay? This is the strong side. There's a weak side and a strong side. Almost 100% of the time when you're working on here. And where it breaks up, over, where it breaks up is on the party. The part determines the strong and weak side. Understandably, the strong side is the side that's got more hair on it. The weak side of the part is the side the party's on. Just as it's diagrammed here, here's going to be my first section. I'm not even worried about the length of Alicia's hair. Okay, so what I want to do, take this, kick it in. I want a nice, really modern, side-swept bang, which is going to look dy dynamic on her. She has actually perfect <coughs> hair for this haircut. I'm going to take the weak side, get it behind me here, and get it out. I mean, want to look at that. Let's start on the strong side. And the majority of the time, we always start on the side with more hair. You guys, just one second. If you guys are diagramming, go up on above the head and make the, the back of the head and then make a side part like so. You're then going to make the parting like this and you make the first big triangle right off the side part. As I'm thinking a little bit about Alicia's hair, I am going to clean the ends up while it's wet. I think I'm going to get another line on it when it's wet. Sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her, take this, clean everything up. 
You guys, when we're combing hair, I want everybody to realize the hair starts in on the scalp. So when we comb, we start combing from the scalp out. That's how we're going to keep all of our sections clean. So, take this, pick it up, tilt the head down just a touch right there till we get a little bit of the tension right where it just stops here, keeps the hair clean, come down in here, and I'm just going to take off just the ends. on this in the salon, I'm just taking the ends of the hair off until I run out of hair. Hair is gone. Okay? Very simple. I'm teaching this to you guys exactly the way I would teach a dude that's been in the business for 30 years. Okay? I'm not making this any, any more elementary. This is how I teach it. Okay? Because it is very elementary. It's simple. We need to know exactly where we're cutting the hair and why we're cutting the freaking hair off. Because I remember sometimes in the meeting when I was uneducated, I was cutting hair and I didn't know why I was cutting it off. Or why my hands were elevating here. Or why my hair, why I would make those poles like that. It's elementary. Just take the head, because I moved it a touch, put it back in. Coming through here. Follow the hand. Down. Cut it. Next one. We're just going to run out of hair a lot quicker on the side. Follow it and just trim it around. Bam, done. <coughs> Let's turn it around. Okay. First section. I'm coming through here. You stay here. Look over there. Thank you. You guys, when you're working around the corner, from the length to the sides, to make a small little tiny graduation to make that line clean, have your client standing. Broad shoulders here. Hold her here. I've got her here and say, look over there. Every time, 90% of the time, and Alicia is not one of them, almost, their, their chin tends to dip down like that. So when you have them turn, I, I just hold the hand, look this way, then I take it, and usually I'll take it just tilt it, up just like this, and I'm coming through the sides, and she doesn't even need it because the way that the hair was layered previously. Come through the other side, look over here, hon. Thank you. And just tip it out. Okay. Side part. Pick that in. I'll take some primer if we have some. Thank you, say. Good. First section, guys. Here it is. Here's the diagonal section. Okay? Boom, boom. Very simple. I'm going to show it to you right here. Come off the party. There it is. Pick that out. <coughs> There's my first section. Let's go over to the side of the room. Come back over. Is it from the middle of the eye? I take, I take the parting from the, just a little bit closer to the end of the brow, this way, and I usually take it so it's just in the center of this right eye, okay? So there's my first parting. There is some length that needs to be taken off here, guys. A little bit on the ends like I did. That's finito. Now the length and the perimeter needs to be cut around the face, which is a very key point because we want to keep more hair around the face. We don't want to taper the face, taper the hair around the face because we lose the what? Shape, yes, exactly. We, we lose shape and we lose fullness. Okay, so by me over-directing the hair, and what over-directing it means is taking hair from where it lives and taking it to another place, cutting it, knowing it's got to come back to where it lives and do something. And know why you're doing that. So, what I want to do here is take this section. I want to tilt the head. Tilt the head, take it, over direct. Everything on the right side gets directed to the left. Why? <laughs> 
the movement. Now, in your mind, you're going, where are you going to create this guideline? Where is this going to happen around the face? It's all different. It's all, it's all on the structure of the face I'm dealing with. It's where you want that bang to kick in. It's got everything to deal with. Every single person is a different story. Absolutely. So take the section, turn the head just like this, take it, and cut into it. Next section, boom, over direct, over direct, leave room, leave room so the blade can get inside the hair. So leave your fingers, back them up, look, come in here, bang into the hair, come in here, over direct, bang in. Key part right here. Turn it for me. Tilt up for me. Okay. See that? That's already cut. Right? I just cut that. It already looks great. Okay? Now what I need to do is create the blend from this side swept bang to the length on Alicia's hair, which is right here. So it's a very tight turn from here to here. Wow. Understand? This is where it needs to blend. The angle is going to be so severe that you cannot do it by closing your scissors this way. You must slide the cut down because the angle's a rounded turn. You understand? Everybody, correct? Everyone got it. I'll explain it again. Here we go. With the slide cut. Now I want to be a little bit more deliberate with the way I cut this. From the high part of the temple to the highest part of the ear. Okay? From here to here. The density of the hair is the least in that area right here. I want to drop the elevation when I cut this. Why do I want to drop the elevation? Exactly. What's going come on? What? That's right. To keep the weight in the hair. The more the hair is elevated, the more we layer it, the more weight we take out, right? When we cut a nice, clean, sassoon one, let everything down the bottom, down, that's where you keep the weight in. So even though I'm going to slide cut this, I'm going to do it with no elevation or as low as I can keep it. Everyone on the same page here, and I'll show you. Turn the head, kick it in. Start right, here it is, that's where I stop, right here, okay? Now, when we slide cut, I love, I always work with these blades in, behind the chair. For my seven and a half, and a half inch monster curves, which everybody's got a pair in this room. Does anybody not have a pair? Good, okay. The lefties, you're going to get them on, okay? Okay. Watch, guys. Here it comes. A little bit of primer bag. Okay. Come in through here. The way that I approach this body of mine is like this. I work in the salon standing all day and so are my clients. I, they sit down to get blown dry. Okay. Why? Look, I can cut hair all day standing up like this. Everybody stands and gets their hair cut in the salon. I mean, there's particular times where I'll be cutting in so sit her down and be cut doing something that maybe they can be sitting up. Right here, just like this. Coming in, drop the elevation. Here's my point of origin. Coming through here, open the blade, slide down. When going for a slide cut, guys, take the hair, put it in the vortex of the shear. This is where all the power is behind the shear. If I start down here, I've got all this blade to slide with. If I start halfway, I can run out of blade in less than a split second. Open the shear, get the hair in there, and bam, and go. Remember, slide cut little rule of thumb is where you're pointing the, where you're pointing the shear to is where you're going to. 
And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going here, right? I'm going here. I'm starting here, but I'm going here. Right? I'm coming through here. In. Lock it in. Come back. Take the hair in the back. Join it to the previous section. Cut it out. That's cut. Okay. Next one. Next section. Tilt the head. Get everything over on that side. Over direct it over here. Turn the head. Key point. Leave <coughs> space for the blade to go in and cut it. Okay? In. <coughs> Take it, turn the head, head position key. Drop the elevation, 